enjoy that time with my enjoy that time with my brother. TSC for sure. Wait, wait, is this is this TSC? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> they got in the interview. See I'm going up, now they all on me. I've been counting bus, hit a lottery. Said she looking for a friend, wanna talk to me. I can take it away. With Rich Mayor from Boston, Massachusetts. Man, shit. Ain't nothing really to do in Boston. Play sports, you feel me? Um, Chill with my friends, but it wasn't really no like Boston things, you feel me? I want to be a pro basketball player. I want to play in the NBA, but I don't know if that was really my passion. It was just something because I ain't. Um, I don't know what I want to do in life. I know I'm tall as hell, but I'm always going to be the point guard, bro. I'm always bringing that bitch up to court. I'm not passing no more, so. I mean, I still got a shot anytime I go on the court, but it's like, I got to, like, take a week to really get back into my rhythm. I can't really just pick up a basketball and still be nice, but I still get niggas bucking stuff. Um, just the road trips, for real, just like... I don't know, hella time in the car with my brothers should be funny as fuck, should be lit as fuck, you feel me? Just the best vibes possible, um... Just experiencing shit in all these new cities, you feel me? I got like a favorite city. Atlanta. Fucking love Atlanta. I love everything about Atlanta. I love the people there. I love the shit that you can do there. I love the rappers. I love the music. I love everything about Atlanta. Inspirations. Um, I would just say like the Atlanta sound, for real. I was just... I was just experimenting with different sounds and like, I feel like that's what people really fuck with right now, so... Um, I wouldn't say like inspirations, it was really just like me doing like that type sound, but like, yeah, I would just, yeah, I'll say that. I always want to, I always want to like experiment and just find a new shit, find a new sound, find a new like, the new wave, create the new wave, like whatever, you feel me? I never want to have the same sound for too long and nobody can say that I've had the same sound for however long. I'm always changing my shit. Would you ever do like an experimental tape like that? Yeah. Um... Maybe one day, I wouldn't say in the foreseeable future. I don't know if it's coming anytime soon, but um, I would definitely love to do some shit like that. But I want to mature my like my rapping sound first. I need some, I need some boosty rap snacks. I need um, I need um, I need the what you call it, the the the, the cinnamon roll Oreos. I need uh mad water. Zah, good weed, and that's pretty much it, bro. You give me that, I'm too straight. You feel me? Hell yeah. Hell nah, bro. The Boosty Chips, the only fucking rap snacks that I'll ever eat. They're like spicy. They're like spicy, like potato chips. My top three brands gotta be fucking with Rick, Rick Owens. I'm fucking with, I don't know, I just be wearing shit, I don't even really wear shit for the brand, I really wear shit like, cause I fuck with it, but um, fuck with Rick, Vivian Westwood, I fuck with um, I got a whole lot of shit like, that's Bottega, you feel me, I say that's my top three, but that's probably not my top three favorite, but that's just like, yeah, what I've been rocking. I really just wear shit that I think fire. I don't really wear shit like, oh, I seen this nigga in that shit. That, that mean I want it. Like, I really just wear shit. You feel me? It's just my style. You feel me? I just push it on. If people fuck with it, they fuck with it. If they don't fuck with me, you feel me? Yeah, Who would you say, like, your top three sneakers or shoes are? Bottegas, Marnies, and Air Force Ones. Yeah. All white? All white. You got to keep it all white. When motherfuckers don't be saying sorry, like, I hate people that don't be saying sorry. I hate people that can never take accountability, like, especially when it's some little shit. Like, a motherfucker will step on your shoe, and they'll be like, they'll be like, why you was, why you was standing there instead of just being my fault? I hate when a motherfucker, like, you come to a motherfucker with an issue, and they try to, like, shift the blame onto some other shit and try to make it seem like, no, bro, like... You did, like, you did something wrong, just be like, sorry. Like, I hate a motherfucker that can never say sorry. And I hate a motherfucker that can never take accountability. I hope I hate a motherfucker that's always trying to shift the blame, but that's my biggest pet peeve ever. UFC 4, UFC 4, UFC 4, the greatest game of all time until UFC 5 drop. I will, anybody ask, anybody watching this interview, 
if you want to smoke in UFC for it, it's up with you. Simple. Bro, we might have to get it bro. bro, you is not beating me like I I know. I've heard that but but you know how many times I've heard that that like bro no I really do this shit and then they don't make it past the first round like that's what I do bro. I'm 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 him. We'll see, bro. We gotta get a game. For sure. And then like what would you say like top three essentials you can't live without? Water, weed. Good clothes. I feel you feel me? Like, I don't know. I don't really got nothing I need, but if it is something, then that's the that's those three right there. Yeah, I'll say this piece, this piece right here, it's like the most creative piece I think I have on my body. I, I really fuck with it. It's the um the Sasuke um curse seal. So yeah, that's probably my uh, favorite piece. I wanna like finish it all the way on my arms to my shoulder and my neck and shit like that in my back. Sasuke Itachi is my favorite character, but I love the curse seal. I love the curse seal, yeah. I wouldn't say I manifested it as much as I like knew. Like I knew that this was gonna happen. I knew that like I was supposed to be doing this shit. So I don't know, I wouldn't call it manifestation. It was really just like hard work, dedication, like putting my all like 4 a.m. studio sessions, bro. You feel me? Just like trying my ass off to make this shit work. You feel me? Like, of course, I'm happy when I see a trend to my shit. Of course, I'm happy when I see the numbers. Of course, I'm happy, but I never really felt like, you feel me? I always know it's gonna be bigger, and I still to this day, I know, like, and I'm like ready for and expecting like the next shit to happen. You feel me? Like, the next. Like, I'ma keep progressing. It's always gonna be better times. Like, even if you're going through a rough time, like, you gotta remember, like, you gonna have times where you just like loving life. No matter how bad you hate life, I don't care. You always gonna have a moment where it's like, you thankful that you kept pushing and you kept like striving and achieving your goals. Another thing, it's never too early to start. Like never think like, oh, I'm only 16. I got time, you feel me? Like it's never too early and it's never too late. I just wanna motivate motherfuckers to keep going and push past like any adversity or bullshit that they like may run into you feel me like no problem is too big that you can't handle it you feel me unless you die like if you're not dead in jail bro like you can really like you can overcome any adversity stay in school stay off drugs stay motivated samir chase